Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to be forging a new cover plate for the Nuremberg box that I'm working on. And the main element for that cover plate is a square corner that needs to be made in sheet metal. Unlike square corners in bar stock, square corners in sheet metal are forged cold. It's not a complicated process, but it does require a little bit of forethought and planning. So that's basically what I'm going to go through with you today. This is the blank that I'm going to be starting off with. The part in the center where the pivot hole is is exactly the size that I need, but the legs are probably three times longer than I need. And you'll see why that's important in a moment. The process starts by making the two bends that form the shape of the cover plate. These two bends are the only part of the process that I'm going to be able to do in the actual vise jaws. To refine this simple bend into a square corner, I'm going to need to clamp the cover plate into a jig that's going to sit outside of the vise jaws. Forging the square corner is going to be done with two hammers. The actual hammering is going to be done with a light ball peen hammer and I'm going to be using a heavier hammer to support the leg while I'm forging. That's the reason I needed the extra long legs to be able to pass through this fixture. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I do a lot of planning before I actually start working. Um, I know that goes against the grain of a lot of smiths, but I find there's just so much easier to figure things out before you're knee deep into it. And that's what I've done here. If I had cut the pattern to the final size before starting, I would have had no way to shape this corner. So just leaving a little extra material on the pattern is just a simple way to avoid the whole problem. At this point the square corner is forged pretty much the same way as a hot square corner. You use very light hammer blows and you work from each side of the square corner to refine that shape. The first step is to straighten the bar stock leading up to the corner. You want to end up with two straight sections with just a slight radius right on the corner. It's important not to rush through this process because this is the only opportunity you're going to have to finalize the actual location of that square corner. Just by you know hammering one side or the other, you can shift it over actually quite a bit. Of course, it's a lot easier when you manage to hit the location right on, but if you miss it slightly, don't worry about it because you can correct it at this phase. Once you've been hammering on the corner for a couple of minutes, you're going to see that the shape of the corner is going to start to develop. At this point, it's really tempting to keep on hammering because you can see that the shape is almost there and you figure that a couple of more hammer blows will, you know, finish the job. But it's really important to stop at this point and to anneal that corner. Annealing restores the malleability of the metal. And it's really important to do that before you start to feel that the metal is resisting the hammer blows. Because that means the metal is starting to work harden. And if you continue to hammer, you're going to continue to add stress to that metal to a point where the corner will actually crack. The process is simply to heat up the corner to basically a red heat and then allow that corner to cool slowly back to room temperature. 
I'm using a torch because it's easier to film, but you can throw it back in the forge if you want. You know, anything to heat up the corner, you know, will work fine. Here you can see that I've moved the cover plate further down the jig and I've added an additional clamp on the other side to uh, put an even pressure on the cover plate. I was finding that it was twisting a little too much, so this extra clamp puts an even pressure on it and keeps it a lot more stable so the hammering is a lot more effective. Up until now I've been basically just bending sheet metal in order to straighten the legs and the face of the uh, cover plate going into the corner but now I have to actually start hammering the uh, corner into shape and that takes a little bit more uh, work so you need something that's a little more stable to be able to hang on to the piece while you're working. This jig is the one I use to file tenons on round bars. That's why there's a series of holes up the center, but you can make this jig just with two separate bars if you wanted or with one bar that's bent in half. It doesn't have to be hinged. It just has to have enough room to put the sheet metal through there and the vise will clamp the one side and the clamp you know, puts the pressure on the other side so it uh, keeps the piece fairly stable in the center. And again, the reason you need all this is because you need a lot of clear space underneath the jig to position the heavy hammer, so you need to move outside of the vice jaws to be able to do that. I have done this at the anvil with a heavy pair of flat bit tongs holding the piece, but I find it's just so much easier to work with when the, everything is being held in the vice, so that's pretty much the way I do it now. So that's basically all there is to it. There's a little bit of a setup, which isn't really too complicated. And then from there, you just take your time, use light hammer blows, work from both sides evenly. And the real key is to anneal often. Keep that metal as soft as you can. Once you start to notice that the metal isn't moving as easily as it did the first couple of times that you hit it, stop what you're doing, throw it back in the fire redo the setup and keep working. You'll save so much time by taking the time to anneal it often. Uh, you, you won't learn it until you break a few, but trust me, uh, that's the key to the whole process. Hi, I'm Dennis and thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can contact me by using the email address that I have shown here. If you like the channel and the work that I'm doing, please consider becoming a patron. Every dollar you contribute will bring me one step closer to being able to produce videos full time.